This Indian man cleaned the broken section of a railway track and placed a furnace on top, performing a process resembling a fireworks display. What is this for? In fact, this is the aluminothermic welding technique for railway tracks. It is a traditional rail welding method that does not require electricity, relying solely on manual operations to perform outdoor steel smelting. Before welding, they clean and align the broken rail segments, then elevate the rail to a specific angle and measure it with a metal ruler. This step helps mitigate thermal expansion and contraction after welding, ensuring the rail remains flat after cooling. Once the angle is set, they install molds made of highly heat-resistant graphite material on both sides of the broken rail. They then seal the gaps between the mold and the rail with heat-resistant clay to prevent molten steel from leaking during the smelting process. After the preparation, they preheat the rail and mold to reduce the temperature difference between the rail and the welding agent. Meanwhile, they add a mixture of aluminum powder and iron oxide, known as thermite, into a dry pot resembling a furnace. The pot is placed on the mold and high-temperature matches are used to ignite it. Then they step back. The process generates a fireworks-like chemical reaction, producing temperatures of thousands of degrees, and begins the smelting process. The molten steel and aluminum flow into the mold. At this point, a physical reaction occurs. Since steel has a higher density, it sinks first, filling the mold, while the lower density aluminum flows into a side tray. After the casting is complete, they quickly remove the mold and fittings while the metal is still hot. They then use a hydraulic device to push the two rail ends tightly together. Once finished, any excess material is removed and the welded rail is ground smooth. In this way, the two broken segments of the railway track are seamlessly rejoined.